Welcome to this Google Apps Screencast where I'll do an overview of Google Drive. Here I am in Google Drive. I want to point out a few management things and just kind of how Google Drive works. If you hear people mention Google Docs, Google Drive, Docs and Drive are the same thing. Uh, Google recently updated the name from Docs to Drive, so those terms can be used interchangeably. When you come into Google Drive, you should see it should say Drive here above the Create button. Just below the Create button, you should see My Drive. If you don't see My Drive, if you see Home, that means you're in the old version. Um, we're going to create materials going forward that refer to the new version. And, and all the there's a few kind of ways that this is set up that, that it just makes more sense to be in Drive when we explain this to people. So if you see Home here, you can go over to the little gear, the little settings wheel, and choose Update to the New Look. And that will make it so your left side looks just like this video. If I go too quickly, um, feel free to rewind or, or go back and rewatch the video. I'm going to point out some different ways to kind of organize your stuff. So when you're clicked on something here on the left side, it shows up red. That means that's the area you're current looking, currently looking in. My Drive, you can think of as your online hard drive where you store your stuff. I'm clicked on My Drive right now. It's red. I see my files and folders listed here. And how you see them listed is determined by these headers at the top. So if I were to click on Title so that it's red, everything is alphabetized here by folder first. And then after the folders are done, you'll see files that are just generically assigned to just the My Drive area. Um, good analogy I heard recently, you can think of My Drive kind of like my computer. If you're a Windows user, it's just where you put your, your stuff. If I click on Owner, or I don't click on Owner rather, there's a little arrow next to Owner. You can choose to see files um, and, and have the owner listed, whoever the owner of that file or folder is listed, or you can choose just to see files last edited by me or last opened by me. I personally like leaving it as owner because I have many things shared with, with others. If I click on last modified so it's red, this changes and it's not alphabetized now. Now it's organized by the last time myself or someone else has modified any of these folders or any of these files. What I like about this is it kind of keeps the most relevant, the most newest stuff um, near the top of my my list. And it shows here going down kind of the timestamp of who last edited this. So you might see a person's name. So this person last was in this folder and then made a change. So that's a cue to me that maybe it's something I you know could check out or see the newest updates if I happen to go in there. So that is my drive. You'll also notice some files will be bold. The text will be bold. If it's bold, that also means that someone made some changes since the last time I was in the file. So that's another indicator of, of new information. If I click on Shared With Me, when I click on Shared With Me, this shows any files or folders that someone has directly shared to me. And what I mean by directly is that they specifically added my name as someone shared on that document. Um, and this is where that file or folder will appear. So I can see I've got a bunch of different folders here that were all shared to me. I've also got some files. You can organize this by title or share date. So if you're trying to backtrack, someone says, oh, I shared that to you the other day, you could go to share date and see the files that were most recently shared to you. If you want, you can put things in shared with me into my drive. So let's give an example of that. Let's say there's a folder here that I know I'm going to use pretty regularly. I don't want to always have to think if it's in my drive or shared with me. I go to where the folder is, I checkbox it, and there's a choice that appears here at the top that says add to my drive. If I were to click that, it would add it in with all my other folders. That's one way to put it in my drive. Another way is I can click on this folder button, and if I wanted to assign that folder to somewhere specific, maybe I want to put it in my um, FPMS files folder, I can click on that and it puts a little checkbox. You determine where you put that file by uh, clicking on that thing so the checkbox appear and then I would hit apply changes. Um, so use the checkboxes. You can do multiple things at once. If you wanted to select everything at once, there's a little box up here next to title that will select all and you can decide you know what you want to show up in my drive. I would not dump everything in my drive. Um, the reason for that is that Google is known for search so if you need to find something use the search bar here at the top. If I was going to find a file that was uh, 2012 laptop summer collection if I were to type any part of that chances are it will show up. Now when you use the search it's very important to know this it only shows the first few results here. This isn't showing everything that has the word laptop in it. If I were to hit enter, that will 
show me the search result page where now it will show any files, any folders, any documents that might even have the word laptop in it. So as that comes up, here's everything that has the word laptop in it, which is probably going to be a lot. Another way to use the search to your needs is you can search for whatever term or you could search by a person's name. If I knew that a certain person had maybe sent me a file, I could type that person's name and you'll see files will come up that maybe either has that person's name in it or was created by that person. If I go back to the laptop example, if I were to type laptop, I can use this arrow here on the far right of the search box and I can search specifically. Maybe I know I'm looking for a document. I could actually choose documents or maybe I know it was a presentation. Uh, you can also choose things that were owned by me or not owned by me. You can really limit your search by using this little arrow here up on the search bar. So that's another good way to find things if you need to. As we work down, there's also the starred area. You can place a star next to any file. If I go back to my drive and let's say I wanted to, uh, there's a file I'm going to use regularly. And if I place a star next to it, kind of like I've done here, when I go to starred, this shows my starred items. Kind of think of it like your favorites, things you know you want to access quickly. Recent shows just recent files you or others have been working in. Uh, if I click on more, I get some more choices here. Activity shows any files shared to you or any files you created. So that just gives um, it kind of similar to, to last modified uh, up in the My Drive area. All items, again, is anything shared to you or anything that, that you created as well. So a lot of great ways to kind of look at your files. I tend to use My Drive the most, and um, I just organize things by last modified. Other things to point out here in Google Drive, uh, these little icons in front represent what type of file it is. So this is a spreadsheet, uh, the little green cells, a folder. If the folder has a little person on it, that just means that's something that's shared to not just you, but, but more than one person. Uh, this is a form, the little green with the dot and the lines on it. Uh, document is just blue with little lines representing text. This is a drawing, the little yellow one. Uh, presentation is just a blank looking slide. So if you're ever not sure what those are, you can click the create button and they also show up here kind of as a little key. Create button is where you can go to create new things, create a folder to start organizing your stuff. As you put things into folders, what's nice about this is when you, if I were to go to all items here, this will show up better. Uh, if I look at specifically at files, they'll show what folders they're organized into right after the file name. So, for example, this salad club is organized into FPMS files. This is organized into my Franklin G apps folder. Uh, so just a great way to know how to see your stuff. You can also color your folders. If I go back and take a look in my drive, and let's say I want to make this folder here blue. If you mouse over any folder, there's a little options arrow where there's choices to rename the folder if you need to, uh, add a star if you need to, change color. So if I want that folder to be blue, that if your color, you know, color kind of uh, helps you to see things a little easier, then you can choose choose the color choices there. Let's go back to full screen. Across the top, there are some buttons over here. Sort gives me the same choices as the the last edited or the last modified uh, by me. These two views here, list view, just shows everything in the list. Grid view would show everything as little screenshots. I personally like list view. That's a little cleaner for me just to see all my files as a list. Um, if I go under the settings, there's choices for, for display density. This works in Chrome. Other browsers, this doesn't tend to work. Um, if I choose comfortable, comfortable means that the files are a little more spread out from each other. There's not as much text on the screen. So that's comfortable look. Let's compare this with Cozy. Cozy makes things a little tighter. So now the file names are a little closer together versus compact, which I like because I like seeing the most I can on the screen. This is where everything's really tight. So you can control kind of how that looks if you need to. So that's just a little overview of Google Drive and a way for you to kind of organize your stuff. Hopefully this helped and we'll put some other screencasts out there and other materials out there to help you as well. Thanks so much for watching.